bloopers. Hi guys, welcome back to our family YouTube account. And today, my, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our family YouTube channel. I'm Karina, just in case you guys didn't know. And I'm Melly, and we're sisters. I'm the oldest. And I'm younger, I'm 20, she's 30. 27 to be exact. <laughs> She's 27. Hey, Just so, anyways, the point of this video is that we're going to be talking about our experience that we had in Valley Plaza in Bakersfield. The shooting. Because we were there all because I wanted to buy boots. All right, guys, enjoy. Okay. All right, Millie, tell me your experience with the Valley Plaza shooting. So my experience was really scary. I was really scared. I was shaking. I was crying. I bitch. thought I was going to die because everybody started running. So then I started running, and then my mom pulls me, and then people are pushing me. And then I see Wito, and she's like, Melly, come over here. And I'm like, I can't, my mom. And then this is my mom. Melly, this is the safe place. So then we go to a freaking did you hear the area. gunshots no i did not hear the gunshots other than that i would have dropped dead <laughs> <laughs> i want to say my story right now and then so anyways we were right there in the storage right where the cajas were at and then like we were just like this like hiding like this and then we were whispering and then some people were like praying so that got me more scared so i was shaking i was crying then we thought would go towards like towards the door and then we'll be like what you get over here and then he will get back and then he will still go we thought we'll be pacing back and forth so anyways we were there y luego después ya nos sacaron. and yeah we were still well they said it was safe and then they told us to run back in yeah so it was safe for a moment for like three seconds and then they're like no guys you guys gotta go back go back so then we go running back to the storage area and then we're right there hiding until they actually clear everything and we go out well, remember how the, the the guy was like what are you guys running and then everyone was like i don't know everyone just started running oh and that then, was in the beginning no that was the beginning huh yeah that Can was in the be beginning okay who was that the manager what i guess and then um, he said, why are you guys running? We're like, oh, we were running because other people were running. They were saying there was a shooting. And then this place, like, they closed down the doors from Macy's, from the inside of the mall, and then from the outside. So then they said, you not, you guys could come out now, but you guys have to stay here. We're on lockdown. So we were there for a long-ass time. So since we were there, I still bought my boots. Yeah. <laughs> Well, she didn't want to buy her boots, but I said, you might as just get your boots. I mean, they're not letting us out anyways. All right, let me tell my story. As you see, it's about to go down. Let me go over here. <laughs> so, all right, so I was at me and Diego, where I finished the line, right? We we're checking out the shoes, hella, like, you know, hella good, you know? Literally at the exit. And then me and Diego are checking the shoes, right? Like, and then I see all these heads hella running. And then me and the old just look at each other like, oh, that's kind of crazy. And then people start yelling, act the shooter, act the shooter. And as soon as they heard that, me and the old said our freedom. I put my hand right there. I could have just went like, you know, straight to Delano. And then Diego, I give him props. This, this, I told him and he like, he followed me, no questions asked. He was like, no, I, they were like, act the shooter, act the shooter. And I was like, Diego got the bag. And then Diego got the bags, right? And then he was like, and then I was like, follow me. And then we were going towards, like, against everyone. And then this is Diego. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I'm like, right here, right here, Diego, Diego, Diego right here. And then he, Diego, Diego could see, like, we're, everyone's running towards us. But Diego's, like, so, like, Diego's, like, we're running against, like, everyone else, right? And I told Diego, no, right here, right here. And this is Diego. Exactly. <laughs> and then that's when we see Melly and then my mom and I saw her let's get the exit. But my mom, bro, I swear to God. No, bro, I was gonna go with you. This was Wito. So this is Wito. The exit is right there. Literally. <laughs> right there. And then Wito's all like, Melly, come here. And I'm like, okay, my mom. And then this is my mom. Melly, the same place. The same place. So I'm like, like Wito, we can't leave my mom alone. I'm so then we left shit. with my mom. And so we got trapped. And then we got trapped, and then everyone left the mall, except us. And then my mom, she had like one boot. 
literally both of them had one boot on, one regular shoe, and they were mopping in their Macy's like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that shit was funny, dude. And then the and then the employee said, "Don't even worry about the bullet. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. Even like it did, just leave it anywhere." <laughs> and they give us no discount. No receipts. No, you know what? Let me say something on camera. Kardashians don't run. No, the uh, all the employees they were like really nice. They offered us wa water. They asked us if we were okay. That like, they were really well, yeah. caring. And then the scary part was that all the Macy's employees out of nowhere they would like huddle like they would leave somewhere in a circle and we're like what's going on like what's yes. going on no they have not see and then this was like they will all go in, like in one certain area and they will huddle and they'll be like Shh, talking and then somebody will come back okay guys bear with us we're just trying to get this clear that's it and we're like what's going on and then they will go back again to huddle Timidity. <laughs> no, but they were really, they were really, really, really super nice. I think I was more scared when we were in the storage area. They like offered this, behind the boxes, like people this. water. They could, we could see it. Um, they cheated us. I was about to say you couldn't see through them. So what you said she was gonna run over a lady already. She was uh -oh. like, dude, I came out running. No, cause she came out. Get, when, while she was out already, she heard the gunshot. So then she seen everybody coming out. So then she was in her car leaving. It, but people were like scattered around. She said, dude, I was going to run over this lady. She was just crying. And I was like, damn. Yeah. That's just good. I was just trying to get the hell out of here. the ground. I was trying to get home. Yeah. Dude, so I can't get over it. If I would have stayed, finished my milkshake and fries, I would have seen everything live. Next time you probably got shot because it was literally right there when you were. Yeah, at. literally where you know the video of um Juan said. Imagine I was I, I sat in that section. Man, like, right, right now still being right here, we're gonna be visiting Diego right there in the hospital. I literally. So this is Diego's perspective. Tommy, what were you doing before the shooting? Alright, so I met up with my older brother Juan. And like we're just chilling, right? We're by the exit, like kind of like in like the finish line area. And then like really quick, we just hear like a really quick like, and we could tell like there's gunshots, right? And then we see like everybody just start booking it towards the exits, and we're all like, fuck, you know, like, or, excuse my language, like something's going on. And then so we run to like my mom and like my oldest sister Melly. So you were walking back from the food court? Yeah, I was walking back from the food court, and we we're just like. And I was just like, damn, you know, like, what's going on? And then, like, you start hearing people saying, like, shooter, shooter, shooter. And then, like, so I'm like, damn, like, it's an active shooter. So and then, like, I get, like, really nervous, right? Because a part of me starts thinking, like, is this going to be the end? And then, so the people at Macy's, they take us into, like, this back room where they kept, like, all the, like, the shoes and stuff and everything like that. And then, um, so, like, they all hush us, right? And they all just make us, like, hide behind shoe boxes. They, like, they barricade the door. And they're all just like everybody like shut up be quiet and then there's like a good 30 seconds of like just eerie silence you know like all of us were kind of just expecting like the dreadful like sound of more gunshots like towards like a gunman coming towards us but like thankfully we never heard anything like that it was just like those quick gunshots so i was like oh we thought maybe it was like domestic violence or like it was like like gang activity yeah. but it was so scary you know like they had us on lockdown for like Three hours we had to stay there and it was just like it was like a really scary experience because like those 30 seconds of just like the pure silence just waiting to see if like you're gonna meet your maker like that was scary like like that was scary <laughs> like i got scared <laughs> like i was scared like I was... so you heard the gunshots i heard the gunshots oh my gosh yeah and then melly was crying she was hella crying she was on the phone with david she was like and then Jessica, she was there. She was walking out the food court when that happened. Your perspective, Lito. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. This is serious. I was at the mall. I made the exit, actually. With my little brother, Diego. With who? Diego. We're at the exit. Like, we tasted our freedom, like. You tasted your freedom? We could have left the parking lot and just smashed, but Melly and my mom 
We're across the store trying out fucking boots. Stupid ass boots. <laughs> Almost got us fucking killed. Mr. Melly bought the boots after all. She bought the boots after all? Yeah, spare find the fucking boots and I was dying. <laughs> so, I seen her right. Me and Diego ran to Melly. Melly, let's go. Go to a parking lot, you know? Like this fucking safe. Get into the car and leave. But on morrow, <sighs> this lady tells me to go to this room for like hiding shit. So, we're in there. Oh, what's that? Melly, she can't say she's thug. She was crying the most, pussy ass. <laughs> Me and Dill stood calm and that's it. That's what happened. So you guys were the calm ones during this? Yeah, me and Dill. But he was out of crying? Yeah, but he was crying like a little bitch. Damn. And my mom. Did you hear gunshots? Nah, not really. Were people bumping into you when you were running? Yeah. They're hella fucking into me bitches. Like how? We were at the exit. Me and you were at the exit. Like, I could've opened the door and I would've been at the parking lot. Why didn't you? Okay, mom, tell me your side of the story. <laughs> My side of the story is that I seen all the people running. All the people running, so I was like, what's going you? on? Hmm? So... You Shh, My mom is talking. <laughs> When I seen all the people running, and then one of the employees pulled me, oh, and then they took me to the um to the warehouse where the shoes are at, because they said it was a safe place. So we went in there, and then we were all hiding. And I honestly, when they closed the door, I honestly thought that the shooter was gonna come, and that was it, and I was gonna die with my kids. Some, because Isaac was not with me, and uh, Abraham and Karina. It was scary. Anything else you would like to add? Yeah, we took kept on telling me to go through the exit, but they were telling me to go to the warehouse and hide. Well, that's because you should listen, go to the warehouse and hide because the the, the shooter was on the parking lot. So even if you go to the exit, I he could be there. Them, uh, I'm pretty sure shooters went out. I'm pretty sure people went out run towards the shooter.